Dean Jones confronts Wayne Walker in front of Walker's business premises in Springfield, St. Thomas, demanding the removal of an orange shirt and armband associated with the PNP. The situation escalated to... Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl and Isabel Rose. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 20k, help me to get there, my people. So in this one, my people, the People's National Party condemns the brutal assault of a People's National Party supporter by a Jamaica Labour Party councillor. Stay tuned for the details at hand. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run go over to my other platform. Subscribe over there. Get that channel to 1K, my people. Please and thanks. So, my people, an incident took place in St. Thomas where a Jamaica Labour Party councillor attacked a people's national party supporter however my people may have a recording of peter bunting the people's national party senator condemning this whole act and my people i thought we had gotten out of this whole aspect of political violence and we've seen where it literally a start up about my people and this now makes no sense where the people in must take politics especially the people in were supposed to run as candidate this not look good, so we want to leave the common citizens for do. We want to show them, so they must worry with them one another um, in the same breath too. But my people, me, I'm going to listen to what Peter Bunting had to say and explain everything in its entirety before me even show the video. And thank God that somebody was recording because we never hear the whole of lies that will unfold in all of this. The opposition strongly condemns the recent acts of intimidation and assault in St. Thomas perpetrated by a group led by Dean Jones, the GLP caretaker for the Trinityville Division, and thugs accompanying him across the parish over the last 48 hours. These incidents not only violate the principles of democracy, but also pose a grave threat to the safety and security of our citizens. The first incident unfolded on Sunday evening at about 6 p.m. at the Trinityville School, where a peaceful PNP workers' training meeting was in progress. Jones, accompanied by three carloads of GLP supporters, engaged in provocative and intimidating actions aimed at disrupting the democratic process. A report was promptly filed with the Trinityville Police by the PNP's candidate, Kimberly Thompson. That report detailed the incident. Subsequently, and an even more disturbing incident took place on Monday evening. A video recording of that incident has been widely circulated on social media platforms. In this shocking event, Dean Jones confronts Wayne Walker in front of Walker's business premises in Springfield, St. Thomas, demanding the removal of an orange shirt and armband associated with the PNP. The situation escalated to violence as Jones and his thugs, dressed in green, assaulted Walker. In an alarming turn of events, Jones brandished a firearm, further escalating the tension. Even when Walker complied, Stooping down on the ground with hands raised, the assailants continued to beat and to kick him. A report of this incident was made by Walker to the Morant Bay Police Station last evening. The opposition condemns these heinous acts in the strongest possible terms. Violence and intimidation have no place in our political discourse. And it was hoped that this, would have, this was put behind us decades ago. I'm calling on the JCF to swiftly and thoroughly investigate these incidents, holding those responsible accountable for these criminal actions. The opposition is calling on the High Command through DCP Fitz Bailey to keep the public continually updated on these investigations in his usual forthright manner. We're urging all political actors to prioritize a peaceful electoral process and we hope that we will see a return to civility and respect for the rule of law in Trinityville 
and beyond. I'm also calling on the Prime Minister and the Minister of Local Government to immediately remove Jones as a candidate for the GLP. Otherwise, the signal they will be sending is that his behavior is acceptable and it must be implicit encouragement for similar actions across Jamaica. And so right now in this segment with people, me are going to make you see the incident where it took place. <laughs> After which we see in a legal chambers of Cuff and Shaw attorney released a press release on February 6, 2024, which is today, my people. It says this statement concerns our client, Mr. Dean Jones, counselor candidate for the Trinityville Division in West Turn, St. Thomas. On the fifth day of February 2024, while in the course of conducting his lawful business, Mr. Jones was physically attacked by persons unknown to him, causing him to sustain serious injuries and be placed in imminent fear for his life. Aware of the mounting threat to his person, our client took defensive action to de-escalate the situation. He thereafter reported the matter to the St. Thomas police who are carrying out an investigation. This encounter was very traumatic for Mr. Jones and against that background we urge the public not only to respect his privacy in this difficult time but also resist any attempt to politicize the matter. And it's signed by him lawyers. So as me say my people thank God for the whole um, aspect of the whole video footage so people can really see clear for themselves. After Uno see that video and hearing this release from this lawyer. Tell me what Uno think of this, my people. Turning around the scenario on the true victim, so to speak. But Mr. Wayne Walker's daughter come out, my people, and she put out a caption on her social media. And it says, false, false, false. Observer just proved their side. I don't see color. My dad was on his legally owned private property. Please note he's wearing a red shirt coming from the doctor with his medications. He's an elder. The counselor confronted my dad telling him to take off his red shirt because he's wearing the wrong color shirt and how he needs to get green. The counselor opened his door. The counselor hit my elder dad. At no point did my dad swing or hit that man. The Rasta saw injustice and stepped in trying to help an elderly man. The counselor pulled his gun at an unarmed man. My dad didn't once hit any of them. He was already in pain from coming from the doctor. It's about time Jamaica stop looking at green and orange and see fairness. This is sickening, abuse of power from an man who should represent the people shame on the nation wonder why the mp wanted to pay them off wonder why they decided to change the narrative shake my head disgusted so y'all seeing that my people the lies behind it the covering up behind it saying that is the other way around my goodness but my people may i implore you to keep this election here clean this no need no form of violence because we're seeing where this your counselor here are the one where chuck the violence and trying to use his attorneys to turn around this situation yeah. Right? When you go to the polls, my people go out early and not bother with the animosity and no life for loss in a this year local government election. Yeah. Tell me what you think about all that was unfolded in this video, my people. 
drop on an honest opinion in the comment section and make we talk about the things them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Run go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase. It goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. We do notifications, shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to like, comment and subscribe and you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes to Takman29. Big up yourself, Takman. Thanks for the continued support from each and every subscribers. New viewers, come on board, journey with me, join the family, subscribe to the channel, like up the video, share out the videos, support the ABR movement on the road to 20k. Help me to get there, my people, by playing your part. Stay tuned for more updates, stay tuned for more videos. Get this video to at least a thousand likes, my people. Big up on yourself.